So how long have you been doing this for? Um, probably about um, nearly seven years. So. Oh really? Yeah. Are you a plumber or? Fridgy. Oh, okay. Air conditioning. Yeah. Um, yeah. Second trade. I did um, cabinet making was my first trade. Cabinet making. Yeah. Okay. What? Wasn't doing it for you? Yeah. Sick of it. What? The work was not there. Um, no, the work was there. I just sick of sitting in a factory all day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, um, I wanted to be outside, go to different places. I was got sick of, um, you know, rocking up to the uh, factory at like 6 uh, in the morning when it's dark and then yeah. leaving at 5 o'clock when it's dark again, you know. Yeah. I wanted to get out, you know. Yeah, it's good to be outside. Enjoy it. Uh, you know, yeah. Enjoy this more uh, as much as you can enjoy work. But, um, yeah, so you, you pre assemble these yep. and then do the final installation where it connects? Yeah, so basically. It's, Try and get because it's such a big pipe, it's a bit hard to weld. Not, yeah. well, it's not hard to weld, but it's what to get around it. Yeah, it just takes a bit to, to do the actual weld, so yeah, so to try and weld all those up. So, how do you avoid burning that? Well, I've, got to, I've only got to weld down there, oh, right yeah. there. so oh, yeah. basically, I'll do that weld, yeah, and then I'll feed all that insulation on, yeah, and I'll, put, I'll pull it back and I'll try and clamp it up. And then I just so you've only got that overlap from like five mil or this moves. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that'll be. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. So, um, yeah, then I'll pull that back and then I'll just go try and spare it as little as possible. Pretty yeah. much, it's a bit, sometimes it's, you know, you can't really avoid it, but when they come out like this anyway. Yeah, right. But, okay, so are you happy for me to uh, just ask a few questions while you're doing it? Yeah. Alright, so. Uh, <laughs> no, you're right. I know the answer still. Yeah, no, you'll be right. And even if you don't, it's all right because um, you know. Last well, how you how would you find out? You know. Yeah. All right. So um, I'm Luke anyway. Ben. Ben. Yeah. How are you going? All right. So you're a fridge mechanic. Yep. Okay. Yep. Good. I trade. Yep. Yeah. And um, so you're doing some. Is it brazing or soldering right now? Yeah. It was soldering basically. So yeah, I've just got to join this elbow onto. I want to join this piece into here and then this yep. elbow onto here. Okay. Um, first of all, basically with refrigeration, obviously. Generally, both ends will come capped, so you have a cap on each end. Yep. You can't get any muck inside these pipes, so they've got to stay crystal clear because yep. it's actually a gas pipe, it's not plumbing pipe. Yes. So okay. it's no water or anything, it's gas and it's yep. anything that gets in there, dust, sand, any of the oxidization yep. from the pipe or in the welding yep. can actually damage the compressor. Right. So, okay. Yeah, anything that so it's important that, to have it really clean. Yeah, it's got to stay clean. The caps must stay on at all times. As you can see, these pipes here. Yep. have caps on both ends. Yep, okay. Yep. So always Is that the way that you can tell the difference between a, an air conditioning pipe yep. and a water pipe? Yep, basically a net refrigeration will come always have a cap on it. Yep. Um, where plumbers just, they're just open-ended. Yep. And it's actually a thicker pipe with gas as well. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. So, yep. That's so, good. is these more expensive than this if you were to get water pipes? Yes, that would be um, a bit, little, I, don't know, I don't know the price difference, but they are a little bit more expensive because they've got to carry gas because they've, they've actually got to be, like the wall thickness has got to be pressurised. Yeah. So, you've got to have that thicker type of... Um, Okay, we'll so see. look, does that mean that you don't have to prepare the joint? No, because it's because it's already like comes clear, clean. Yep. So that's basically that's freshly cut. So yep. it's, it, I mean, it, can, it, it does get a little bit dirty. You can give it a little bit of scrub with emery tape. Yeah, but generally it's pretty clean because we we'll buy it the day before or the yeah. morning of or something. Yeah. We'll pretty much put it in straight so away. So if you had it sitting on the top of the car or something for a month, would yep. that affect its ability to get soldered? Um, yes, it will do because obviously you get the you know a bit of the rain and stuff can get onto it, a bit of dirt, you know, a bit of grime here yeah. and there. But yeah, it's just, it's just a matter of giving you a bit of a scuff with emery tape. Okay. Yep. yep. And you're using a silver solder there, is yep. that right? And yep. what? What? The different grades. What's this one for? This one's 15p. Yep. This one's um, it's just a yeah. This one we've been instructed to use for the 410 copper, which is what this is rated. Yep. For the gas that's got to run through it. Yep. Obviously, you'd have your different grades for whether it's water, gas, you know, all that sort yep. of stuff. So. Okay. Just all right. On. So do you need a flux with that? No. You don't need a flux because you don't want any any of that getting into the system. Yeah. And because it's already quite clean, you don't need anything to bond it. Okay. So what purely. would a flux be used for? It's it's, it's like a bonding agent. So yeah. when you give it when you give it a when you give it a um, scruff scuff up, yeah. you use a bit of flux on the end. You basically you would just dip your solder in the flux. Yeah. And it helps bond the two, two okay. surfaces together. All right. Okay. Well, away you go. No worries. I'm just going to turn this nitrogen on. It's, okay, um, and what is that going to do? Basically, this, this this hose here will connect to the end. Yep. It's got to be in the end of the cap. Yep. And it's always got to be sealed, otherwise it will suck air in. Yes. So basically, that will flow through the pipe. Yep. And when I'm welding these joints, 
it'll stop the oxi oxidization, which is the black stuff inside. Okay, so you're removing oxygen from the yep. inside yep. of the pipe by putting yep. nitrogen inside. So it's got to pump through and it's got to come out the end here. This, the yep. other end's got to be open. Okay. So then it uh, prevents stuff getting inside the pipe. So how, how long will it take for this bottle to drain? Oh, this bottle's got, well, it had, uh, it's got, well, 12,000 kpa in at the moment so yeah, heaps this will last me two a week depends all depends on how much welding you do obviously yeah. on the day okay all right now that's a that's a good torch i i haven't seen one with only one nozzle he's only got a fuel gas and no air so where's what's happening there so basically this is what we call a turbo torch yep. if you have a smaller version which i have around here somewhere which is just runs off a map gas bottle which just screws in yes this is effectively the same thing but it actually runs off an acetylene bottle yep so when you ignite it the air actually gets you'll hear the air getting sucked in there which yep. creates help to create the flame okay. so i don't have to carry around two bottles right it does give me a broader flame so yep. if i was to do a tight spot i would need an oxy set yes it gives you a smaller flame and it's more right. direct more control yep. more direct yep. okay and this is just because i'm welding out in the open it gives me a more and flame. it'd be cheaper too wouldn't it yeah 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 definitely because yeah. you don't have to leave my two bottles but yeah, okay. it just depends on what what um what we're doing oh and it's time. got a pizza ignition as well yeah so basically Beautiful. yeah where you go Stand on. Lovely. 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 basically when you want welding yep. you want to you want to get the heat the blue flame yep right on the end of the pipe you don't want the blue flame right on it yep. because the end of the flame is the hottest point yep and you want to get where you want the solder to be is where you want it to be hot so you just want to move the torch around yep. and where the hot is that's where the solder will run to so with the thickness of this piece here yep. do you need to heat that more to allow or will the convection take the heat where it needs to go basically i'll heat both sides so right. i'll just heat up where i think where i need to run the solder okay. to okay all right away you go So then obviously once we, once we have finished welding, yep. I always carry a wet rag and a bucket. We can't actually get water in this, no. so we can't dip it in water. Yep. So basically to make the nitrogen work quicker, we actually hold it on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it actually will stop. It will start going back to like a more of a copper colour on the inside. Oh. Because that's because that nitrogen is pumping through, it's cooling it down quicker. Yes, yes, so that's yes. Reducing the oxidisation inside. Right. Good. If you yeah okay I'm, that makes sense yeah. It's all about keeping oxygen away from it, yep. around from the hot area. Yeah. You can see that. Um, so you can see the scale that's developing on the outside. That's because there's oxygen in the atmosphere, making that um, copper go copper oxide, which is that darker colour. Yep. So effectively, you've got you will have that on the, that exact same thing on the inside. Yeah. And because you're trying it's to got avoid. gas flowing, you don't want to have that because all that scale could affect the compressor or something. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Because basically, it pumps around the system. Because when the compressor pumps it around, once it gets back, it mixes with the oil. Yeah. And that basically is it a gas that's getting pumped around? Yes. All right. Yeah, but there's oil in the compressor, obviously to lubricate it. Right. I see. So when that gets back to the compressor, that can that that black stuff will. You know, Does it? Better. Is it a liquid gas at any stage? Yes. It's um. It's yeah. It's, it it goes from um, liquid to vapor. So right. basically. It's obviously how it processes through the system and whether it's on heating or cooling. Yeah. Because obviously it evaporates. But from the out from this unit out, yep. is it a gas or a liquid? It all depends on what, what, what if it's on heating or cooling. Yeah, okay. What so if it's cooling? So basically you've got two pipes. So if, if it's on cooling, this is what we call your discharge pipe. Yeah. So this will come back as a vapour. Yeah. 
and it will travel through the back of this. Yeah. This is called the coil. Yeah. That's the coil. You see all the pipes running sideways. Yep. And the two fans in the front pull air through. Yep. So that will cool the pipes down. Yep. And then it travels through through the compressor. Yep. Pumps back in. Is that condensing the gas yep. into a liquid again? Yep. The compressor the compressor will condense it back in. Yep. And then that will come back through this what we call the suction pipe. So yep. then it will go back through there. Yep. And it goes back up into the roof as a, as a liquid. Yep. And when the hot air inside travels over the indoor coil, which is effectively the same as this, it evaporates. Right. So okay. that's how it gets yeah. rid of the heat. So Takes that heat away. Yeah. It comes out here. That's why in summer, you, in summer you stand in front of one of these. Yeah. Hot, hot, hot airs. Because yeah. yeah. all the hot... Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then oh, the that's good. in winter, it'll be cold. Because yeah. It's getting rid of the cold air. Yeah, okay. So oh, yeah. that's good. Oh, thanks very much. No worries. That's good. All right, so... Um, Right, so oxyacetylene. If you were to go oxyacetylene, what happens if you were doing water plumbing, water pipes? Uh, what changes in your equipment and in the way that you do things would you use if you were just uh, soldering up some water pipe? Um, I don't think there's much. I mean, I'm not a plumber, so I've never, I've never actually soldered a water pipe before. Yeah. But effectively, it's the same process. You want to keep, you want to get your joint to keep clean. Yeah. So you get, you want the joint to be clean, so you get a clean join like you want it to so it won't bond if you've got some sticky stuff on there or something or dirt it won't bond to it yeah and if it doesn't bond you're going to have a leak yeah right so, okay all right yeah. well thanks very much for your time today that's no uh, very good